Hey, Katie Gilbert here, host of Brew Views Vermont, the video cast. Please make sure to go online and check us out on our social media at brewviewvt.com. Now come on inside. Drive away with a great vehicle and a great deal from Mid-State Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Barry, Vermont. We want you to experience a better way to buy a car. The process should be fast, fun, and easy. Located okay, halfway between Barry and Montpelier or at MidStateDodge.com. Maybe I should tell you how I came to be as a host of Brewviews. Brewviews Vermont, the magazine, fantastic magazine, you need to check it out, came to me and said, we think maybe you'd be a good fit to meet some cool people, go to some cool places, and have some craft beers, uh, local distilleries, um, drink some wine. And I said, yeah, count me in, I'm there. <laughs> so here I am hosting the video cast. And today I get to be here with this lovely lady. She is the head distiller of the Windsor, Vermont Silo Distillery. This, my friends, is Erin Bell. Hey, Aaron, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, Katie. All right, the first thing I've got to stop and show you is she's wearing something around her neck. I love this. It kind of matches mine, but it's pretty cool. Can you tell us about this? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so this past weekend, Sila went out to San Francisco for the Good Food Awards, where we were presented with an award for our flagship 100% Vermont corn vodka. Uh, so I thought I'd bring it to show it off I today. love it. Fantastic. That's awesome. So all the way out in California yep. and you guys come home with, it's not gold, but that looks no, like it's probably top of the... No, they do the whole gold, bronze, <laughs> silver thing. You just win. Okay, <laughs> perfect. We like winning. That's awesome. Okay, I'm intrigued. I, I was looking at the notes. They gave me the production notes and I was checking it out. So you are head distiller and production manager. That's, That's pretty right. impressive. Like... Um, there's probably not a lot of women who do that or are more women coming into the industry nowadays? I would say that uh, production-based work in general is not a woman-dominated industry, but it's growing. And then as far as beverage production in the craft sphere, um, especially in Vermont, there's a lot of women leaders um, and every day there's just more and more showing up and we all we all kind of take care of each other and sort of help each other blossom. So oh, fantastic. it's a pretty great addition to the industry. 